All right, today we want to cover how to make your own custom supports in Cura. So the first thing you want to do is open Cura and in the top right, you're going to see a button called Marketplace. Now let's go here. There is a plugin called Custom Supports. So you'll probably come to this page. It's one of the more popular plugins, so it will be on the front page. And if you just download this, install, it's very quick, easy. You do end up having to restart your software though. So there we go, you need to restart. So now we are going to quit and come back. So now when we open Cura back up, you were gonna see on the left hand, there is a little stair step. So that is our custom support. That's the thing we just installed. So now this is a very simple piece. Honestly, uh, you probably could print this without the support, but the point is to show you how to make the support. So say you wanted to just support this very back end. Do you think this is an angle good enough that it doesn't need a support, but right here you want to put one. So you can click on that support, zoom in a little bit, tap where you would want the support, and it will automatically add one there for you. So now the nice thing about it is it pretends that it's its own object. So you can use the same tools. So you can move this around, you can make it bigger, smaller, you can shift it, obviously wouldn't want, huh, wouldn't want that. But as you can see, you can play around with it, put it where you want. It does take a little getting used to, but again, that's all it is very easy. And right here, I could add that. That would be really easy to break off. It uses less filament and boom, I'm off and running and can print this with no problem. And of course, you can add uh, multiples of these. So if you just click on that again and say, I want one right there. There we go. So whatever, I'm sure you have a much more complex model. You can add as many of these as possible. You can make them longer. You can make them shorter. You can scale them. Whatever it may be, that allows you to make your own custom supports in Cura. So to stress the importance and usefulness of these custom supports, let's look at two pieces of bone that I've printed. So here we used 100% supports. So ultimately the piece does look good. However, if you've done this, you know that this is going to be a pain in the butt to take off. It's going to take a long time. It took much longer to print and it also took a lot more filament. But if you look over here, this is what I made using the custom supports. And looky there, I was able to hollow this out. So I used much, much less filament. It was over four hours less time to print. And you still get a wonderful piece that you just 3D printed. And it is going to be extremely easy to pop these supports off and get moving on with other prints and your project. So that is the usefulness of custom supports. I strongly encourage you to download and install that plugin. Thanks for watching. Happy printing.